this is my pantry. This is where all the, the dry goods are. Got my paints, my palettes, my tools, my saws, my panels, I mean, my art collection, my friends' paintings, my brushes. Yeah, this is, this is where it all is. He was behind you pouring champagne. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love this. This is awesome. Justin, thanks so much for playing along. Uh, I think it's going to be a great video. Thank you. Cheers. Sam? Justin, what you got here is palette. Yep, I've got my palette. Just cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. And my daily tradition, I clean my palette up. And uh -huh. uh, like any good chef, uh, I have to put things away. And lo and behold, I kid you not, every single night, I put my palette in the refrigerator. And uh, why do you put it in your fridge? Uh, so if you're not painting for a couple days, the paint doesn't film over. So it just makes the paint last forever. I love it. Yeah. That's why. That's yeah. what makes all these fun. Yeah, it, it, it was super fun. And I mean, I've never painted anything quite like that. When you um, text me after the week after you and I spoke, uh, I was at the airport, sitting at the airport, and you text me that you were on a boat with all your friends oh, yeah. talking about the stories. Yeah. And I hit up Sam, I'm like, dude, Justin, just hit me up. And he's like getting all these stories. Because that's the cool thing, because I haven't met one person where we start talking about this. Yeah. That after like an hour later, they just start thinking about it. Yeah. And they start coming up with all these stories that are like, I never even thought of it that way. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I still think, because of what's interesting about aging and getting older, memories, they're still back there, but sometimes they have, you have to rattle around a bit. Yeah, to trigger get them, it. Yeah, you got to get them back. And I, I felt like this memory was a little bit that way. And it, I almost didn't even connect that the reason why I do it in adulthood is because I did it as a kid. So one of the things I like to do is I love to record all the information about the paintings in the back. Right. And so like I painted this particular painting outside. And so I like to put the date. So it was on January 20th of this year. Mm -hmm. I put the temperature it was when I started the painting. So seven, ah, 17 degrees that. outside. And then I put the finish time. And so all the paintings that I do on location, it's almost like a little mini re weather report. Mm -hmm. And I, I really think of them as snapshots in time. So almost like a Polaroid camera captures the right. moment these paintings it's capturing that specific moment in time. I love that. Wow, that was really good. Mm -hmm. I would always smash the bread and mm -hmm. eat it. And I love yeah. doing that too. Yeah. And even now, like, uh, like I love like French bread, Italian bread, like freshly baked when you go to like a store and they just bake it and it's just hot. So like, you know, my dad and I, we'd go get one and uh, we'd get like three of them, three loaves. And one would be for the drive home. <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> and then one would be while while we're prepping and then the other one's for dinner yeah you know and it's just that and then my sister she always does and it just pisses me off too but she just hollows out the bread hmm. and it always get me because from this side i see a whole loaf yeah and like oh, i'm gonna cut me a slice and it's all hollowed out i get so mad when i was a kid <laughs> so mad because she didn't want the exterior she just wanted the soft bread yeah because guess what she do clump it up yeah yeah it's raining, you can tell. Is that what that yeah. is? Yeah. Paintings have a way, like all art does, to it calls out to individual people. And that's why sometimes they go straight to them and they're hooked on them. This one, from the moment I walked in, I see it, the light's hitting it perfect, and the colors, they're so vibrant, and it reminds me of fall. Now, I grew up on the West Coast. I grew up in you know, Oregon, Washington, California, but we didn't always have seasons. My favorite season is fall. Why? Because I guess I never got it as a child. Yeah. But, you know, for what I do for a living, I travel around and all that, and I get to see um, seasons in other states. And when I see this one and the colors and the river and everything running through it, it reminds me of that because with your senses, you what, what does fall represent? You know, when people have their chimneys on, the leaves crunching and turning colors, like that's what that reminds me of. And I love it. it reminds me of Montana. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Yeah, I yeah I, yeah I couldn't agree more. You know, I love that. That's the power of food and art. One and the same. He's right. <laughs>